there is a certain magic in the mechanical watch to hear the beat of it rapidly ticking away. It's working harder than we are. I think this is something we find reassuring. George Daniels is probably the most important watchmaker and horologist of the 20th century. His ideas, designs, innovations all came together to change the face of watchmaking as we know it today. Born in Edgware in northwest London to impoverished parents, one of 11 children, and it was only at the age of five that he discovered a broken watch. He opened the back of that watch and that moment completely changed his life. Sale is really quite exciting. Anyone who's interested in horology will all descend on London November 6th. The wristwatch in the cell was the first ever wristwatch George Daniels made. It combines his compact chronograph escapement with his coaxial escapement. The coaxial escapement that George invented really is the heart of any watch. George designed it to work without the aid of lubrication, which is the first major improvement on a watch escapement for over 200 years. The Space Traveller watch is an important piece by George Daniels. It combines sidereal time with mean solar time. George said this was the perfect watch to take on your package tour to Mars. The mahogany long case regulator is another very interesting item. It came about because George was asked to make a copy of Harrison's Grasshopper Escapement. The marine chronometer is very special. Uh, it's the very first piece that he managed to make himself one of the most difficult items to master for a horologist. George was the first for centuries to actually take in hand all of the different disciplines required to make a mechanical watch from A to Z, from start to finish. To fully create a watch from scratch, there are 34 watch skills. George Daniels perfected 32 of them. What a watchmaker. He said once that when you see a fine timepiece, that it should have this softness of a, of a handmade, human-inspired creation. He gave hope to a generation of young, independent watchmakers. There's certainly an influence of George's philosophy for Robert Grebel and myself in our own creations today. This inspiration is very, very important, and it was something George understood well that it was not only necessary to understand the techniques yourself, but you had to be able to bring them forward for the next generation. I think George Daniels would be very proud and pleased with this upcoming sale. With the proceeds going to the George Daniels Educational Trust, it's promoting watchmaking and the future of horology. Without doubt, his legacy will live on in the pieces that he made and in the provenance of his collection.